Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology here. Hope everyone is having a great long three day weekend. This is the market weekend market review for Memorial Day 2018. Let's take a look at what's taking place in the markets today. So, starting with the 10 year US Treasury on the daily chart here, um, what we're seeing is a very clear breakdown on the daily pattern in the Treasury yield. We close the week at basically right, right above the 50 uh, day moving average. But the most important thing is RSI is leading price action down. We're, lo we're, we're basically at the same level we were a couple weeks ago, and yet RSI is significantly lower, which tells me that price is likely he heading lower as well. Probably the first first point of main support will be that 28, 2.8 area, and if we break below that, we might go as low as 2.6, basically shaking out the, the, the longs here um, that are setting up around the 200 uh, daily moving average. Looking at the weekly perspective of the 10-year Treasury, well, I pointed out several weeks ago that this particular rally uh, probably didn't have many legs because RSI here did not make uh, make new highs on this significant move higher versus last time it uh, breached close to the three area. So that that told me that this was likely going to break break down, and sure enough, that's what's taking place today. Uh, you know, between 2.5 and 2.6 is an area that I think will ultimately find some very significant support. A lot of folks will say this 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 rally in Treasuries is over. I don't believe that's the case, but certainly a, a very strong pullback uh, could be in the cards. Looking at this from a monthly standpoint, again, this 2.5 area right about here, 2.4, is going to be very, very strong support if we do pull back all the way there. I'm not saying it's going to get there, but this is this is the beginning of a major bull market in interest in, in interest yields. But that doesn't mean it's going to go straight up, and it doesn't mean it's going to go uh, f far. Uh, but certainly the bear market in bonds, in my humble opinion, is over. We'll see what happens. Looking at gold from the daily chart, this was a very strong rebound here. Uh, we found support uh, in a place that we found support here in the past in RSI, right around here, when we bot bottomed at 12.38. So no surprise that we found support at the same level. Uh, question is, what happens at this point? Uh, right now, it needs to it needs to form some uh, solid support here uh, and, and break above this 200 day moving average which coincides with the middle Bollinger Band and ultimately it needs to head back higher towards that 1360 area. I like the fact that momentum here is at basically at the same level as it was when moment when price was around 1330, 1326 so that's very positive. I like the fact that uh, PPO is now above zero. That tells me that actually gold might have some legs uh, uh, in this in this particular move, the question is, can it can it find some consistency? We'll see. I mean, you look at the weekly; it's still below the 50 RSI level. Uh, it found, it's bounced so far in the same level. Basically, it's bounced multiple times here, um, and found support at other places. Uh, so that so far, the, this was a very strong. Uh, rebound, but it bounced off the 200-week moving average, so no surprise there. It just needs some consistency. Can it rally? Uh, absolutely. Will it? Will it be sustainable? Time will tell. So keep an eye on this one. Gold monthly still in a very bullish uh, breakout of this five-year downtrend in this very, uh, very strong secular uh, bull market. So uh, this is a five-year downtrend, which is in, long, in the grand scheme of things very very small downtrend in a major bull market and we finally broke out here now we're just consolidating above the 50 RSI level here which is very important look at the volume over here on this breakout this suggests that institutions are getting into gold uh, and uh, we're gonna see a major move in the, in the not too distant future to the upside one thing I will point out is that PPO has been weakening uh, is that does that mean that it's gonna break below We'll see. I don't think it will, but anything is possible. Uh, the junk daily chart suggests that we want to move higher here. Uh, we've been consolidating right below this 50-day moving average, which in my opinion is very uh, positive development as the 200-day moving average is, is, is firming up right below it, and PPO is moving towards a break above zero. Now, last week it closed below the 50 on the daily RSI. So it, we need to see that recaptured or prices can go lower. But look at the money flow. It, has, it is being accumulated here 
uh, pretty nicely. Uh, likewise, on the weekly chart, just consolidating right below that 50 RSI level, which suggests that it can really uh, move higher here if if it, it can get that one strong uh, up move. PPO here as well is setting up to a break above uh, zero. But on the other hand, money flow on the weekly is decelerating. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Is this just going to be a rounding top or is this uh, just a continuation pattern after a multi-month consolidation? Stay tuned. And on the monthly, uh, you know, the monthly I pointed out here that you've got the PPO breaking below zero. I thought that this would um, create a pretty pretty strong drop potential, but it hasn't. There are two two ways you can consult, you can correct. You can correct through price, or you can correct through time. So far, this has been correcting through time, just going basically up and down and flat, which suggests that likely uh, the resumption will be to the upside whenever it is uh, that this does occur. Now, looking at the crude oil, this is very interesting and very educational chart. Uh, you know. Up until starting in February, basically you created higher highs in price, right? Consistently and higher lows. But each higher high had a new high in RSI. But at this point, when we hit 72.90, RSI could not break out the high um, that we saw at 70.84. That, that basically showed us that this was negative divergence being created. Frankly, there was some negative divergence here versus 69.55, but it was still a um, slight higher high, not the case here. And so that suggested that a pullback was definitely in the cards. And, and now with RSI leading price down, uh, we're lower today at 67 than when we were at 67 last time around. And that suggests that we're likely headed lower, probably towards, uh, I would say around that 62 level support uh, is, is, is where we'll likely find some support, uh, strong support. Let's take a look at the weekly to get some better perspective from a longer term. Uh, here again, this is a lot more clear. 66, 66, we had an RSI um, above 70. When we hit 72, basically, RSI couldn't break back above 70. That was your bearish uh, divergence and that. If you were long here, this was your sign. You, you got you to gotta sell um, this particular commodity. Now, where do we go from here? The 50-week moving average is rising. Right now, it's around that 59.66 level. I think that that's going to hold. The middle Bollinger Band is around that 65 level. You'll find some support there. Ultimately, I think we're headed lower towards that 60 to 62 level before before finding some solid uh, support. But there's 59.66 um, and 59.09 are the 50 and 200-day moving average week moving averages, and those will serve as very strong support. They'll wash out some some of this extremely overbought and frothy position in the oil sector. Um, Crude oil monthly still looks very good, uh, but again, a pullback where we we possibly retrace back to the 50 RSI level is is definitely possible. And listen, if it goes all the way back to even 50, that's not a bearish development necessarily. Uh, it it has a lot of support on the 60 and 62 level. I could see this going back to around the 58 level for a couple of weeks, shaking out some weak hands, and then ultimately closing out June um, back above that 60 to 62 level. So um, this is one of those areas that I think is going to go higher. Ultimately, we'll hit 80 to 90, but it might take some time. So uh, be on lookout. Now, NASDAQ looks good. Uh, it looks it looks like it wants to move higher on the daily. Um, basically, the RSI is leading price right now, and I, and I like what I'm seeing on the daily. Uh, on the weekly, notice this this pullback on momentum has broken its downtrend. It wants to break above the 60 level. It could happen as early as this week, and that will coincide with probably a new breakout to highs. Look at PPO on the weekly. It definitely seems like it wants to move higher. And on the on the monthly, it's it's very very overbought, but that's precisely where you want to be. Uh, if you are in bullish uptrends, Russell, Russell is consolidating here. It's above the 60, uh, 61 level right now. It's above this breakout zone. So, so long as it can keep above basically 60 and 20, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty strong. Now looking at Russell from the weekly, it's breaking out to new highs. It, these highs are not being confirmed on RSI. Uh, RSI was much higher at 1615. 
uh, versus where we are today. So he needs a follow through. If he cannot get a follow through here, uh, I think it's going to pull back. But with PPO firmly above zero, I think that uh, we might get a strong follow through. And if that happens, uh, this would be a resumption of the uptrend, in my opinion. Russell Monthly here. Russell Monthly looks very strong, and that really leads credence to my view that we will see a follow through. I mean, so far this month, uh, we closed the month of May. Well, it's not yet over. Five and a half percent higher. That's amazing uh, um, for the small cap. So definitely one of the strongest uh, sectors here, and it looks like PPO is breaking back above zero. And so this might be your sign to go long uh, the Russell 2000. S&P daily, it's, it's kind of consolidating. It's uh, above the 50, but it can't break above the 60. It's being hurt by the oil uh, sector stocks, which represent a big portion of the S&P. But it's above the 50-day and above the middle Bollinger Band. I think this will be fine, although it's not going to be the strongest of the sectors. Look, it's still barely hovering above the 50 RSI. So uh, even though it's PPO, is improving and I think ultimately this does make new highs in the coming months I think ultimately um, this is not going to be the strongest of the equity sectors between Nasdaq um, and Russell probably leading the charge now S&P monthly it's it has broken above the, the the 70 area so if it closes above this level that's a very positive development in the US dollar, the US dollar has, I, I said a couple weeks ago, I said it needs to break this 92 level. This is the weekly chart and it did so. So looking at it on the daily, it's now above the middle Bollinger Band, above the 50 day moving average. I think this wants to make a run um, higher, a couple, a couple more points higher. Where exactly, I'm not sure, but you're likely to find resistance right over here, which is the last point of pullback around the 103. So is that gonna be 96? Is it gonna, is it gonna be a little bit higher? Uh, I'm not not certain, but I think we are very close to the end of this dollar rally. But looking at it from a monthly perspective, we have closed above uh, the 50 for the first time in a long time. There's going to be some significant resistance, middle Bollinger Band here right above. right above. So let's see what it does in the next coming days. Uh, is it going to break higher? Is it going to pull back? Um, I'm watching very curiously with the US dollar because it's obviously going to have a very strong impact on commodities. Now looking at the VIX, uh, VIX broke out here in, in, in February. Uh, it's pulled back some. It broke out again in in middle of March. It's it's pulled back in this in this uh, flag pattern. Is it? And it looks like it's setting up for another breakout here. So whereas the markets look like they want to move higher, volatility does as well. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. You know, PPO continues to curl higher. Uh, I think we might see some some action in the in the, in the volatility space very very soon. Um, the weekly chart here, this is the, the triangle pattern that I, I was referring to. If this breaks to the upside, uh, expect to see some fireworks in the not too distant future in the markets. Um, on the monthly, we're, we're right below the 50, uh, but if we can break back above that, that would be a sign that indeed the markets uh, might be pulling back and not moving higher as I, as I expect. Now looking at the, 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 the emerging markets, emerging markets uh, weekly does not look good at all. It's it can't break above the fifth the middle Bollinger Band. Uh, it's below the 50 RSI level, and this is largely tied to the U.S. dollar. Um, and with PPO now curling back towards zero, it's going to be very interesting to see how this plays out. You're not going to be able to, see, you know, with the U.S. markets seemingly doing well, um, this will likely follow, but. Maybe not. Maybe maybe there's going to be some divergence between domestic and overseas markets. So it's going to be interesting to watch as this how this plays out. Here it is on the monthly. It's breaking down, whereas the U.S. markets are showing very strong um, support here in price action. So uh, some interesting developments. But um, overall, there's quite a bit of indecision. Again, keep an eye out for oil. Expect it to continue to pull back. Gold looks like it wants to rally. Dollar is nearing the end of its uh, run. Russell looks uh, good. NASDAQ looks good. Uh, emerging markets or the world index uh, XUS do not look good right now. So uh, we'll see what happens. Stay tuned and have yourselves a great week. And again, uh, for those of you in the U.S. celebrating Memorial Day, 
happy Memorial Day and uh, shout out to the troops and um, all the all their loved ones. We appreciate everything you do for this country. Thank you.